In this Flutter Wave tutorial, I will show you how to open a Flutter Wave store and start selling online with Flutter Wave. It is easy, highly effective way to expand your business beyond your local environment and best of all, it is free. Are you ready to open Flutter Wave store? Then let's get started. If you want updated information like this and creating online presence that will enhance your life and business, then I want you to hit the subscribe button right now and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I release videos like this. Note that this Flutter Wave tutorial is a series that I already recorded several great videos about. So I highly recommend my other Flutter Wave videos in the Flutter Wave tutorial playlist on this channel so you know how best to use Flutter Wave to grow your business. Alright, to open a Flutter Wave store, log into your Flutter Wave account. If you don't have an account yet, then check the link displayed on your screen right now where I explained how to quickly open a free Flutter Wave account. I've also left the link in the description box below this video. So pause this video quickly and check the link and open a Flutter Wave account now, then you come back and continue with this tutorial. So once you have an account with Flutter Wave, log in into your Flutter Wave account. Click the product tab. Click add a product. Now, there are usually two kinds of products, digital products and physical products. Though Flutter Wave Store is optimized better for physical products, these are products that you can see and undo. But you can also set up digital products in Flutter Wave. Digital products are products such as courses, services, and stuff like that. So, I will create one digital product and four physical products in the same store here, so you can see what I am trying to say. So here, I will add the name of my first product. Make sure your product or service name is clear for anyone to easily understand. Here, just add a good product description. It is your opportunity to explain your products to your buyers. I will add price. Here at compare price, if you want to make your pricing appear like a promo or if it's a promo, just add the original price here and then the promo price here. This is how they will appear. For weight, even if you're selling a digital product, you will still have to add a weight value. If not, it will not submit. So I'll just put in a figure here because this is a digital product. Same explanation goes for items in stock. I will just add a figure here. In the category section, I have already created two categories before now, but in your own case, since you do not have a category yet, just think of categories for your product or service. For instance, if you sell fashion wares, your categories could be things like men's shoes, women's bag, leather belt, and so on. Once you've come up with a category or categories, then come here and create them for your products. This will help you categorize your products, especially if you have different kinds of products or services to sell in the same store. Once created, select your preferred category for this product you are adding. At Product Options, click and add more details of your product. You can also edit this title to suit your product. Here, you should add visuals such as product image and even videos. It is always better to snap the real product in various angles or use videos. This will go a long way to make your prospective buyers fall in love with what you're selling because they can see it in pictures or videos. But of course, you can also use stock images and videos if that is what you want. 
So I will click here and search for my image in the computer and add it. If possible, you should use more than one image per product. Once you are satisfied with your details, either click the save and preview option or add product if you want to add more products. This is the product we just added. I will be adding more products now, this time physical products. So click add products. Just follow me as I repeat the same process. Okay, this is our second product here added. I believe you've gotten the process, so I will fast forward this video to add more products to my collection. Okay, now that I have added my products, I will come to store setup to put some touches on my store. Here, my store is actually offline. It is supposed to show a green online so that people can see my product displayed online. So I will click the edit store, click drop down arrow and select online. You have an opportunity to edit your store information, your store name, and more importantly is the store URL. This will be your official store URL. So 
You really want your extensions to be cool and reflect your business so you can edit this. And if what you're trying to add has been picked by another person, you have to choose another keyword or add numbers to your keyword. This will be your official shop link. Pick your most relevant category. Give your store a description. Use nice description. You should use a good image that depicts your product or shop. At this point, your store is good enough to go public. And this becomes your shop link and that is the link you will promote online to start making people see your shop and what you have to sell. If you need help promoting your shop online, then you should subscribe to this channel as I will be sharing various interesting ways to use the power of digital marketing to promote your products and services. So let's click this link and see what our shop looks like. Beautiful. Can you see that? This means that if you have more products, you can keep adding them to this beautiful collection. Here, your customers can browse your products by categories. They can also see your contact information and store name. So, you can copy out this link by clicking the copy icon and then post your link on social media or send or just any platform that you feel like promoting it on. You don't need to do anything again about receiving payments if you have added your account information on your Flutter Wave during registration. So let's assume that someone wants to buy. They will just click the product, choose the quantity, color, and so on. Add to cart, view cart, continue. Fill in their payment detail and click place order, just like you have it in Jumia or any other e-store out there. View your payments here. To view your customers, Flutter Wave will send information to you and your customers anytime they click on your product. Even if they did not complete their payment, Flutter Wave will send a mail to them to remind them that they have a pending payment to pay. Finally, if you want to edit your product, maybe if they are out of stock or you want to add more stock or change images, just come to store. Products Click the product to edit and effect your changes. Also, each of these products have their dedicated links. So, if you want to promote only a single product and not the whole store, this is where to access the link. This is how to create a store on Flutter Wave for free. You should also look through the Flutter Wave playlist on this channel to access other Flutter Wave tutorial that will help you grow your business online. If you need help with setting up your business online or making your website more functional than it presently is, then hook up with me at help at madblogger.com. This email is also in the description box below this video and I will be willing to assist. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I publish my next video. Thank you.